Hello my friends. My name is Bot Mathematician. And this is Hello Mansa. And of course, I am the daring reporter Dora. We are very glad to see you all again. Today we want to share our opinion of the new adventure. We'll tell you how the League of Evil has taken control of Blizzard and is going to steal some of your gold. We will also share our theory about the true villainous plans of Rafam. Believe us, the awakening of Galakrond is just a well-staged performance, the most interesting details are behind the scenes. Guys, that sounds a little mysterious and intimidating. So, where should we begin? To begin let's briefly talk about the new adventure. This time the familiar dungeon run concept is missing. A linear adventure awaits us in this expansion. We will have the opportunity to fight for both good and evil, thanks to two storylines. The adventure will contain four chapters with three bosses in each. For every victory over the bosses we will receive new cards. In total, we will get 35 unique collectible cards and put an end to the conflict between the League of Evil and the League of Explorers. The first chapter will be released very soon, on January 21st. The rest of the chapters will be released gradually, once per week, to be exact. I don't understand how such news could cause you negative emotions. All we are going to get is a huge amount of fun, new cards, as well as a denouement to the story. Many players have dreamed of a classic adventure, and this release brings variety to this year's adventure style. In addition, we will gradually receive new cards throughout the month, which means that the meta will remain fresh and dynamic until the announcement of a new expansion. Dora, all your arguments are definitely fair, but you did not mention anything about a very important drawback. We will be forced to pay for the new cards. The whole adventure can be purchased for $20, or each chapter can be purchased individually for $7 or 700 gold. If you are a free 2 play player you will have to spend 2800 gold. I still don't understand the drama. Two previous adventures also cost money, the only difference being that Tombs of Terror was a little cheaper, since we only had to buy three chapters. Dora, unfortunately there is a difference, and it is very significant. Do you remember our video about pre-ordering of Tombs of Terror? We tried to explain that adventures are becoming more like premium content for players who like solo mode, or for players who are ready to pay money. They are not designed for free to play players who consider play mode to be their highest priority. The new adventures did not offer any advantages that could affect any game modes. For this reason, this content is optional. Players have a choice, save gold for packs or purchase solo content. By the way, we believe this is a fair decision. As far as we know from the comments, some residents of Azeroth refused to buy the adventure for gold, and did not regret their decision. Unlike the previous two adventures, however, Galakron's Awakening leaves no choice for players. You will be forced to purchase this solo adventure if you want to remain competitive. It doesn't matter if you like solo content or not. This is definitely the robbery of the year, one that Rifam conceived. <laughs> now we are forced to collect four sets of cards a year. What can we expect next? Six sets of cards per year or more? It seems I'm starting to understand the essence of the problem. In our opinion, the problem is more substantial and global than you can imagine, and could potentially affect all players, and have a negative impact on the future of the game. What are you trying to say? Despite the fact that Hearthstone is a free-to-play game, it is incredibly expensive. Thanks to the efforts of our dear viewers, we were able to establish the direct dependence on the amount of free resources that all players receive and their desire to make a purchase for real money. The less resources players get, the less interest they have, and the less they want to spend money. In fact, there is a very fragile balance in the economy of the game. If developers give players the opportunity to effortlessly get the entire card collection, then their incomes will drop, but also if developers give players a very small amount of free resources, then their incomes will drop even more. In the past, Blizzard has repeatedly upset the game balance. The first significant increase in cost occurred in 2017, began releasing three expansion per year, instead of two adventures and one expansion. In turn adventures became additional free content. Thus, despite the release of new events and an increase in awards, the Year of the Mammoth has become at least two times more expensive for players who were interested in a complete collection of cards. By the way, a year later developers began to gradually reduce the size of gifts for events. With the beginning of the Year of the Dragon, player spending increased again. Blizzard has announced the return of paid adventures that will come with each expansion. According to our theory, this is Rifam's true plan. Thus, the League of Evil created an additional source of costs for the players. 
Despite this rise in the costliness of Hearthstone, the number of free rewards has not changed much. In addition, the cards in new sets had very narrow applications. Each new set this year had tremendous influence on the matter. Almost every legendary card was in demand, which in turn significantly increased the cost of collections. But on the other hand, this made the game more diverse and unpredictable, so this is definitely a virtue, rather than a disadvantage. The first adventure of this year was well liked by the community. More than 70% of the players were delighted with the Dalaran heist. We believe the problem appeared later, right before the Saviors of Uldum release when some players realized that they could not buy the same number of packs as before. Some players felt cheated and subsequently refused to pre-order the expansion. Thus, we found that a very low percentage of players were willing to pre-order. Only 27% of players were willing to spend money. This led to the fact that more than 40% of players didn't have even a single Highlander deck since they were too expensive. During this period, interest in the game steadily declined. Now the League of Evil has decided to enrich itself, at the expense of the naive inhabitants of Azeroth, without thinking about the consequences. In general, all players will lose almost 30% of their gold. We have the impression that the company is trying to deprive players of gold in order to motivate them to pre-order in April. Traditionally the April rotation causes the greatest interest among the community. According to the results of our survey during this period, players are most willing to make pre-order. The insufficient amount of gold will be an additional reason for you to make a purchase. For the League of Evil this will be a great opportunity to make maximum income. But some changes for the better have occurred, albeit with a great delay. In the period after the release of Rise of Shadows, each player has the opportunity to earn a reward that is equivalent to 11,000 gold with little effort. With the release of the Saviors of Uldum and the advent of the League of Explorers, we have finally recorded an increase in rewards. Players had the opportunity to receive a reward which is equivalent to a minimum of 14,000 gold. This made us incredibly happy and we even made a separate video about this fact. By the way, 90% of players agreed with the statement that this amount of resources is enough for a comfortable game without taking into account the costs of adventures. Players finally got the opportunity to adapt their collection to an expensive meta, although they had to wait too long for this ability. We don't know for sure what caused this decision. Maybe this was a planned increase, or maybe the record low pre-orders of Uldum scared the League of Evil. As you can see, we assume the players will receive too few resources between Descent of Dragons and the rotation. Another very important point is the increase in the threshold for new players. The game contains too many cards, and newcomers already have great difficulty forming a collection. In addition, we drew attention to the problem of significantly reducing the number of new players. Old players are increasingly leaving the game and new players do not come to the game in sufficient numbers. This entails an overall decrease in the audience of Hearthstone. Perhaps this led to the increase in the cost of the game for players who are still ready to play. What about quests? We began to receive much more gold. It seems to me in this way the League of Explorers and Blizzard is trying to give us more resources for buying new adventures. Sure, these are very significant changes, but you still can't get rich on quests. Here are some statistics. Before the changes, we received an average of 53 coins per day, after the changes, we began to receive 58 coins per day. Thus, in 4 months we will receive 600 gold coins more. This amount is not enough even to buy one chapter of the adventure. Perhaps gradually over the next few months the League of Explorers will compensate us for at least part of the costs. We do not exclude this opportunity, but we have not yet found significant changes in the number of awards. Do we need more cards? New cards look interesting. Perhaps the developers have some plan about which we do not know anything yet. But in general, we do not see the need to introduce additional new cards into the game. But if the need still exists, the company could increase the number of awards temporarily by making a special event or create an alternative way to get resources. Do not get us wrong. We believe that this expansion has both positive and negative aspects. We are sure that we all will really like the new adventure and cards. In addition, we will be happy if the League of Evil and Blizzard can increase their income, but we consider the methods that the company uses unacceptable. Such an approach will do more harm than good in the long run. Finally, we want to ask you one main question. Is the new adventure a step towards enhancing the game or a step toward enriching the League of Evil? What do you think about this? We want to turn to the League of Explorers. 
Guys, we really appreciate your efforts and understand the complexity of the whole situation in which you find yourself. Unfortunately you are in the minority. We hope that Rifam and the League of Evil will lose their influence soon. Alright, that's all for today. Thank you for being with us. And special thanks to Chris for text editing. We will meet in new videos. Good luck.